Hello, I am Dr. Ajay Naik, cardiac electrophysiologist. Uh, we'll be talking about arrhythmia and heart failure management in these scenes. Uh, today, we'll be discussing about pacemaker implantation and its aftercare. A uh, pacemaker implantation is considered a minor surgery. It's a standardized procedure done the world over. And it is generally implanted for bradycardia, that's a normally slow heart rhythm. Uh, some people can get dizzy, uh, darkness in front of eyes, some people have, can have a blackout due to slow heart rhythm. It can even be life threatening. And a pacemaker is implanted to prevent such problem and save the patient's life. Typically, a pacemaker would be the size, it is just the uh, size of a Karen striker coin. And uh, the procedure is performed in a cat lab, a room like this. It is sterilized and fumigated and it is done in controlled conditions. It's done under local anesthesia. We don't need to open the chest. It's not like bypass surgery or valve surgery. Uh, a small pinprick is given under the collar prone and with that local anesthesia, the entire procedure is performed. Typically, before the procedure, the patient is nil by mouth for about four to six hours. And certain preparation is required, uh, like giving IV antibiotics, or preparation of the chest to start, and the patient is then weaned into the cath lab. Uh, in some patients, anesthesia may be required for a little sedation to make them less anxious. The entire procedure, like I said, lasts about 30 to 45 minutes. It's done under local anesthesia. After preparation, we give a small pinprick, typically under the left collarbone for right-handed people. And then there are certain tools, wires which are introduced inside the heart, and sheets through which leads are introduced in, inside the heart. Once we achieve a good position of the leads and good electrical parameters, a small incision is created about an inch long, and this pacemaker device is implanted under the skin. And then the surgical site is sutured or stapled. After the procedure, the patient is observed in the hold area or in the intensive care unit for the next few hours. After four to six hours, the patient can get up, walk about, and typically the patient goes home the next day. After a pacemaker implantation, for the next couple of weeks, we need to take certain care. We want to provide, prevent any risk of infection. The risk of infection itself is less than one in a hundred in good centers with standardized protocols. And there are certain ways of reducing the infection risk further, some of which may be antibacterial envelopes which are put in certain patients who may need it. After the pacemaker implantation, the patient uh, can do activities of daily living at home, but not to go out too much, not to call too many people at home. We want to reduce the risk of infection. After a couple of weeks, the patient is seen in the hospital again. Once the surgical site has healed completely, he can resume daily work. Now, the leads take about six to eight weeks to get nicely fixed inside the heart. So, we advise the patient to avoid any jerky movement of the arm or overextension or excessive movements of the arm that could in any way dislodge the lead. Again, typically this would not happen in more than one in a hundred cases, but we have to take precautions. After the first couple of months, the patient is able to resume most of the activity and can do exercise and do all routine activities as the person used to do earlier or any other normal person. Uh, after the pacemaker implantation, if the patient does not have any comorbidities like diabetes or hypertension or heart disease, the patient would not even require any medications. But if the person has any of these comorbidities, certain medications would be required and uh, the patient should be in close follow-up of his doctor to adjust the medications as required. After the pacemaker is implanted, we typically follow up with the patient after the first two to three months and then once a year. Each device has a battery which lasts between eight to 12 years. And during the annual checkup, we will check how the device is working, what the parameters are, what the battery life is. And as the battery life reduces, and when it's less than three months or so, we will admit, take this unit out and a new one goes in. 
So this is the way the pacemaker is formed. After pacemaker implantation, we regularly follow up the patient. It's typically done after two weeks, three months, and once a year. And in this, uh, the pacemaker is checked. We look at the parameters and how it is working. For that, we don't need to open anything. It's done by an electronic interview, uh, by using a programmer to communicate with the device. On that, we'll come to know how long the battery is lasting, which typically lasts between 8 to 14 years. And uh, down the line, as the battery gets depleted, we would advise the patient for a pacemaker replacement, uh, which is again a simple surgery. That unit is taken out and a new one is inserted. Certain patients may not be suitable for a regular pacemaker with the leads. And in these patients, now we implant state-of-the-art latest leadless pacemakers. It's a very small device. It's just a size of a capsule. And the procedure again takes between half to one hour. It's done under local anesthesia. But this time, there are shields via which we introduce this leadless pacemaker into the heart and then the sheets are taken out. So there are no leads uh, leading from the heart to the pacemaker side. So these anchor to the heart muscle using prongs. And this is later state of the heart. These pacemakers also last between eight to 12 years, and these may be suitable for certain patients. Uh, we will discuss about this in another segment. Certain do's and don'ts after a pacemaker implantation, for the first couple of weeks to avoid infection, avoid intermingling with people, avoid going out too much, keep the area clean and dry. Uh, avoid any jerky movements of the arm on the side where the pacemaker is implanted. Uh, for the first couple of months, avoid overextension of the arm, but you need to do certain exercises and certain movements, otherwise the shoulder will get frozen and you may get pain in the shoulder, arm, in the elbows and even the fingers sometimes. Uh, the patient can do most activities of daily living and resume usual work after the first couple of weeks after a pacemaker implantation. Avoid exposure to any strong magnetic fields, typically large magnetic transformers. If the person is undergoing certain surgeries or any procedure, let your doctor or nurses know that you have a pacemaker implant. Traveling is allowed in all forms of transportation. Uh, but if you are at the airport or anywhere a metal screening is being done, just inform the security person that you have a pacemaker in place because that is not going to affect the pacemaker, but the metallic uh, component is going to trigger the metal alarm. So this was a short summary about pacemaker implantation and its aftercare. Arrhythmia and heart failure problems are unique. Uh, they have to be individualized, we have to diagnose them well and treat them uniquely. In this uh, series, we'll be talking about more such problems and their management in the future. Please take care of your family, be safe, be healthy. This is Dr. Ajay Naik from Sims Hospital and the Park.